So let's just start, um, let's start in uh, child's pose. Okay. And just, I know Billy has a pillow. Um, if you have something to put between your knees. I've got a bolster. Oh, great, you've got a bolster. Yeah, just place that right between your knees. And if you have a blanket, you can even put it under your tailbone. Just whatever you need to get comfy. And just come down to a nice child's pose. So I'm gonna grab my bolster. Yeah. And just lay your head gently to one side. Just begin to tune into your breath. and check in for the day. Notice the qualities of the breath, the inhales and the exhales. Bringing the mind into this gentle yin practice. Begin to acknowledge your thoughts without judgment, just allow them to pass by. And then begin a three part breath. So take the breath into the low belly, expand the belly in all directions into the rib cage and all the way up to the collarbones. Exhaling collarbones to rib cage, low belly in and up. And just feel the breath flow up and down the spine. And just move into that calm state. Allow your mind to fall into a nice tranquil pool. Imagine it calm like still water. And keep going for a few more rounds here, that long, deep, three-part breath. And now turn your head to the other side. If you have your head to one side, if you have it down to your forehead, that's fine. But if you've got your head turned to one side, maybe take it to the other side. Breathing long, deep, three-part breaths. Now take a deep inhale, begin to walk the hands up, 
coming to sit on your heels for a moment, or maybe with something in between the heels, the blanket to elevate you a little bit. Just tune in here and maybe begin a buzzing breath. So a little bit of a B sound, that B. And just breathe here a few moments. Hero's pose. That B breath, buzzing qualities. Rather than giving the body relief, find relief to the mind. When the mind is at peace, the body is not distressed. So let's take that into a little bit of a half frog now. So take your left leg and kind of bend it out to the side with the foot flat on the mat. Your right leg stays where it's at and the left leg just kind of bends out. See if that works for your body. And then we're just gonna relax back down over the bolster. So it's a little bit of a half frog. Your right leg can stay bent where it is or it can go out long behind you while the left knee bends up. And then it depends on your body how far the knee is up high. Your leg might be still kind of long. And then check in there. How's that feeling? You can give me a thumbs up or maybe I can help offer a suggestion. But yeah, still reclining over your bolster or blanket, pillow. And breathe and soften here. So you can move back into that three part breath or stay with the B breath. Stay with the buzzing. Turn your head to look to the left. I am breathing in and I am breathing out. Thinking about moods here, passing through us like clouds across the sky. Allow the moods and thoughts to pass, knowing that clear as your blue is the true color of the spirit. All moods are transient, whether stormy and racing, heavy, dull and slow moving, or a wispy veil that hides the sun. and going into that still pool with the mind. As you breathe in, breathe in, I am well. As you breathe out, breathe out any tension. Send the exhales to soften into the left groin, the left knee and hip. And now slowly begin to lengthen out that left leg. Maybe come lying just prone, lying on your belly on that bolster blanket and rock the hips side to side, legs out long. Checking in, does that hip feel all right? Yeah. Okay. 
And we're going to slowly move into the opposite leg. So if you had the leg bent, um, the leg that wasn't into the half frog, you can start back in hero's pose and kind of check in. You can send that right leg out into that frog with the left knee bent beside you. Or you can send the left leg out long behind you and the right leg into that frog with the side of the foot flat on the mat. Yeah, you got it. And then looking over towards the right. Resting the head down on a pillow or blanket. Breathe into that right hip. Long, deep breathing for the big breath. Breathing in, I am safe. Breathing out any tension. Going within to that clear, still pool. On accepting what is, learn to wish that everything should come to pass exactly as it does. And buzzing as you breathe in, long deep breath, exhale. Tangeli said, the mind becomes settled when it cultivates friendliness in the face of happiness, compassion in the face of misery, and joy in the face of virtue, and indifference in the face of error. Taking three more long, deep breaths here. And slowly walking your hands in, pushing yourselves back up to hero pose. Seated on the heels, maybe using a prop underneath the sit bones. And just check in with a long, deep breath. Maybe shift side to side. Kind of letting the hips relax. Now let's take a moment. Billy, I know you don't have a bolster, but your pillow will work. Just lie it long ways on your mat. And then a blanket, maybe where the head is. And you don't even need to lie it down 
we're going to place it right under the shoulder blades. So it's not going to be right at the hips, but a little higher. And just recline over that, kind of coming into a lifted Shavasana type position for a moment. Yeah, there you go. And check back in with the breath. Maybe take a moment to breathe in and out. See if you can breathe through the left nostril. Focusing on the left nostril breath. Just seeing if you can allow that to happen. I need a calming breath. Allow the palms to roll open to the ceiling. Allow the sternum to grow heavy as it softens into your pillow or bolster. And the ribs to grow heavy melting towards the floor. Deep breaths, I am breathing in and I am breathing out. Feel the mind settling even more. Allow the tongue to fall into the lower jaw. The eyes to soften. Feel the heart and collarbones opening. Five more deep breaths, nice and slow. I am well. Exhaling tension. Breathing in, I am well. Exhaling tension. Slowly make your way onto your com most comfortable side. Rolling over at your own pace, using that top arm to push you back up, seated. And find your blanket. I think you both have a blanket. We're going to sit that under the sit bones. Sitting right up on that blanket, take your legs out wide over your bolster or your couch pillow. Just kind of remove the fleshiness so that you can get the 
hips shifting forward, the pelvis shifting forward, and then a wide leg forward fold over that bolster or pillow. You can even kind of stand it up, get it a little higher. Or just use straight arms to help prop you up if that pillow at home isn't high enough. Yeah, just letting the head hang, maybe shake it left to right a few times, to rainbow the head side to side. Breathing in, I am. Exhaling tension. Exhaling all that is not serving you. Long deep inhales. Send that breath into the hamstrings, the back of the legs. Check in, notice if you feel like you need to adjust, make any adjustments you need, finding your comfortable edge here. If you need to wiggle the legs side to side, just noticing. Checking in, notice the qualities of the breath. Notice that there are pauses between the inhales and the exhales. Allow the mind to revisit that calm, still pool. Notice the qualities of the pool. Notice the clear, be beautiful blue water. Small pebbles maybe down within. Just notice the qualities of your pool. Maybe it's a spring with a nice little gentle flowing water. <laughs> And on your next inhale, moving nice and slow, just beginning to walk the hands back in. Coming up into that tall seat. You can bend the knees, feet flat, as wide as a yoga mat. And just shift the knees side to side. And shift your bolster out of the way if you need to. Yeah, it's a little bit of windshield wiper. Kind of reset the hips and spine. We're going to move into a gentle pigeon. So um, 
We're gonna start with the left leg again. We're gonna press, allow our blanket to be under our right hip. Come into hands and knees, maybe cat cow for a few rounds. Make sure you have that blanket with you. You might want your bolster or the pillow out in front of you. So however you normally like to do pigeon, <laughs> if you like to do pigeon at all, right? Uh, right. <laughs> Sorry about that call, it disrupted my view here, but I still see you. Okay, so when you've done a few cat cows and when you're ready, just bringing that left foot up, finding your comfortable-ish pigeon stance. Grab that blanket then and shift it under the left hip. Maybe even the pillow if you need it to be up higher or maybe even the bolster under that hip. See if you can get the hips somewhat level to the floor. The right leg is straight out behind you and you can make it your pigeon here. So if pigeon is somewhat challenging for you, you can stay up with the arms straight supporting you. And then, yeah, move when you're ready and slowly so that you can find your edge and then just lower down towards your uh, bolster or pillow, whatever you've got handy there. Send some breath into the left hip. Deep inhales, long deep exhales. Returning back to any of the previous breathing exercises we've practiced. or maybe finding your own. Or maybe even moving into a square breathing pattern where you might breathe in for four counts, suspend the breath for four counts, exhale for four counts, and suspend the breath out for four counts. So that's a square breathing pattern. You can try any of those. And take your mind back to that pool of water. Notice the qualities of your pool now. Are you able to still that pool in this posture, in this asana? Noticing how it changes with each posture, with each practice. Inhaling, I am safe. Exhaling tension from that left hip. I am just allowing the mind to turn that over without needing a response to it. Just I am. And five more of the breath that you're practicing, whatever pranayama you're using, five more rounds.
You've got your five breaths, just moving nice and slowly, walking the hands under the shoulders. Pushing the body back up, coming back to hands and knees. Bringing your blanket back over to the right. And then cat cow a little bit here. Just listen to what your body needs, finding what you need. Maybe shifting side to side. Maybe rocking the hips side to side. Let's find a little bit of movement in between the postures here. Moving with your breath. Kind of checking back in, assessing how different the hips feel at the moment. Maybe if you can tell a difference. And then moving gently, we're going to bring that right knee up, extend the left leg out long. So finding your pigeon that works for you. Make sure the knee feels safe. There should never be any pain. And we're going to bring our blanket or our prop, whatever you need to help level off the hips under that right hip. And you can stay lifted or begin lowering down over your bolster pillow. Just checking in, trying to level off the hips. Make sure you have a prop underneath the right one to kind of help support you. And again, returning to any of those pranayama practices that served you best. The square breath, the B breath. Or that three part breathing. Breathing in, I am well. Breathing out all that does not serve you. And returning to that pool of water Notice the qualities of your pool now. Are they different than they were for the other hip? Exhaling tension. Inhaling peace. Five more rounds of your breathing practice. Or three long, deep breaths.
And moving nice and slowly at your own pace, bringing your hands under your shoulders. Yeah, gently bringing yourself back up, hands and knees again, finding that cat cow. And finding any movement that's calling to you, just bring some movement back in. Check in, assessing. We're gonna come back to a seated position with our legs out long in front of us. And bring a blanket under your sit bones. So sit up on a little bit of a blanket. It doesn't have to be super high, just enough to give your hamstrings a little assist here. This time we're gonna bring the legs together out in front and our bolster or pillow, whatever you've got, is going to sit on top of the legs. Lengthen out through the spine, expand the belly as you inhale. And as you exhale, take the belly to spine and use that to help round you forward over your prop. Yeah, allow your head to just hang the chin to fall into the chest, the tongue to fall into the lower jaw. Return to your calming breath, practice of choice. Return to your still pool of water. Or maybe to a contemplation, what is my heart's desire? What is my heart's desire? Allow the shoulders to just relax. Deep breaths, really feel the belly moving with each breath in and out. Feel that breath move up and down along the spine. Feel a nice gentle massage from that breath. Five more rounds of that breath. Nice and slowly breathing. You finish that fifth round of breath, just gently walking the hands in. 
Coming back up into that seated staff posture. And bend the knees, feet flat on the mat. You can take the feet as wide as you want to here. And then just do the same thing, that windshield wiper, leaning back on your hands. Find some movement or anything else that feels good to you. Just checking in and assessing. Notice how the body's feeling. Any messages it has for you today. And then you can just carefully remove that blanket that was under your sit bones and set it, set it over to the left side of you. We're gonna come onto our backs. Hug your knees into your chest. You can rock side to side, massage the sacrum and low back. Without forcing, just softening. And then take your left leg out long, stretch it long on the mat. And just hug that right knee into the chest a moment. And push that left leg down into the mat, flex through that left ankle a moment and just really activate that left leg. Feel the thigh bone melt down into the mat. Rock the right leg side to side with your arm, that knee bent. Just kind of massaging, waking up the right hip. And then use your left hand to sweep the right leg across the body. Find a spinal twist. This is where you can use that blanket or your bolster to place it under that right knee. And you can extend the right arm out to the side. You can turn to look at the ceiling or you can turn to look over that right arm. Beautiful. Take a few long, deep breaths. Going back into that breathing pattern. Asking yourself the question, perhaps, who am I? Without seeking an answer. Just allowing the mind to settle. Who am I? Two more long, deep breaths. And then on your third inhale, bringing that right knee, untwisting, bringing it back up into the chest. Bend the left knee up to join it. 
Take a minute to rock side to side, massage the sacrum, hugging knees to chest, or maybe even finding a happy baby. Reaching those sit bones long down towards the mat, giving some length to the spine. Four long deep breaths here. Checking in. And then extending the right leg out long on the mat, hugging the left knee into the chest. Give it a little squeeze, activate through the right leg. Press down with that right leg, feel the thigh bone grow heavy, flexing that right ankle. Really feel that activation for a moment. Kind of adjusting the pelvis a little bit here. Bringing the pelvis back into alignment with these activations of the long leg. And then rock the left knee side to side, get the hip moving, a little warmth through the hip. So you can keep the right leg active or begin to soften through that right leg. And using the right hand, sweep the left leg across the body. Move your prop if you need it, prop. Find a prop and allow that left leg to just relax over the prop. You can send the left arm out long. Looking towards the ceiling or looking out over your left arm. Using your exhales to soften, release tension, finding your pranayama practice. Allow that left shoulder blade to melt down to the mat. Maybe resting your right hand on the left knee for just a gentle extra twist. I am. I am. Contemplating with the breath. Staying with that contemplation, I am, or maybe revisiting that still or gentle spring fed pool of water. Notice the qualities of that pool here. Exhale, release more tension, melt into the mat.
Take three long, deep breaths here. Last little melting of tension. Long, deep breathing. And on your next inhale, just using your right arm to help bring that left knee back into the chest. Give it a little squeeze. Bring the right knee up to join it. And just hug knees to chest, rocking side to side. And just check in, notice the qualities. Of the breath. Notice how the body's feeling. We're going to move into our savasana here. So that can be whatever you would like it to be. It looks like you each have some wall space available. So if you'd like to come up into legs up the wall, you can do that. Just grabbing any props you need if you want a prop under the sacrum. Or you can um, come into a savasana, perhaps with your blanket rolled under your shoulder blades for a little gentle heart opening. So just whatever you would choose here for your last little bit of relaxation. If you have a blanket and something else, looks like maybe you've already gotten it, something under the knees to allow the legs to gently relax, the low back to relax. And so if you have your legs up the wall, just allow a little melting of your sacrum and tailbone. Just imagine the tailbone dropping down towards the floor. Maybe bringing your arms up to cactus arms, bent at 90 degrees. And move into a nice relaxed breath. Don't have to hold a certain breath pattern here. But just allow yourself to completely melt. Allow your forehead and eyes to soften. Allow the eyes to soften back into the sockets. The cheeks to relax. The tongue to fall into the lower jaw as the lower jaw gently opens. Relax through the neck, shoulders. Feel a softening as your collarbones gently open. Soften through the rib cage, feel your lungs ease as breath gently comes in and out. Soften and find ease through the abdomen, all of the internal organs, through the pelvis and hips. Soften through the quads, front and backs of thighs, knees, shins, ankles, and toes, palms up to the ceiling. Just allow yourself to melt with each exhale. You are safe. You're where you're meant to be. From Hafiz the poet, what happens when your soul begins to awaken? Your eyes and your heart and the cells of your body. 
to the great journey of love. First, there is wonderful laughter and probably precious tears and a hundred sweet promises and those heroic vows no one can ever keep. But still God is delighted and amused. You once tried to be a saint. What happens when your soul begins to awake in this world? to our deep need to love and serve the friend. Oh, the beloved will send you one of his wonderful wild companions, like Hafiz, the poet. Take five more deep breaths. Begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Maybe deepen the breath. Bring some movements into the arms and legs. Yeah, bending the knees down if they're at the wall. Maybe bringing the feet flat onto the mat and rocking knees side to side. When you're ready, just rolling onto your most comfortable side. Nice, slow, gentle movements. Take a moment there to just adjust. Using your top arm to push you back up into an easy seated posture with hooded eyes or closed eyes. And once you're there, take a few deep inhales, sending the arms overhead, exhaling hands through heart center. Let's get a little movement in with the arms. One more time, inhaling arms up, exhaling hands to heart center. Just lowering your eye gaze for a moment or closing your eyes. Just find a moment to practice or remind yourself of a few things that you are grateful for today. The light within me honors the light within each of you. Namaste.